So Honorable Minister, I submit, that's my question. When can our operators get the G3? Thank you. Uh, thank you for that question. I'm called Bresija Marcelino. I'm the Assistant Commissioner, and one of my briefs, we handle work permits. Uh, His Excellency the President created a special category of work permits, and rare skills is one of those. The critical thing about this is that they obtained a reduction in a package of incentives. Ladies and gentlemen, our head of state is here. Let me request that we all stand up and welcome him. Let's all stand up and the people in this tent behind us directly, kindly let's join this other tent for purposes of proximity. Let's leave this tent to this tent. So that Fenaba Suburuturabanoturirobulunji. Abadi Mutentieno to Jivemu to Demueno. Welcome, Your Excellency. Let's give a round of applause to our Head of State who has joined us today. You're welcome, Your Excellency, Yoeri Kaguta Museveni. And thank you so much for coming to join us as investors. You have been at the forefront of investing in this country. You've rallied us time and again to invest and believe in our country. And today with us, we have local and international investors. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our head of state. Your Excellency, now that you're here, we strongly believe that this conversation just got more galvanized and stronger. And now that the head of state is here, let me request that we can have everyone in position to have both anthems sounded. We shall have the Ugandan anthem and the East African anthem, and then we shall proceed. Production. Thank you. You may take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, now that you're here with us, with us, we have the great investors of the land. They are all here, believing in the agenda of developing our country. Today, with us, we have esteemed investors, we have honorable ministers, and with us today, we have Honorable Matia Kasaija, the Minister of Finance. We have Honorable Evelyn Anita, the State Minister of Privatization and Investment. We have Honorable Nobat Mao, the Minister of Justice. We have Honorable Kahindo Tafide, the Minister of Internal Affairs. With us, we have Honorable Judith Nabakoba, the Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. We have Honorable David Bahati, the State Minister for Trade, Industry and Cooperatives. 
We have Honorable Joyce Nabosa Sebguao, the State Minister for ICT. With us, we have the Commissioner General of URA, Mr. John Musinguzi. We have the Senior Presidential Advisor on Anti Corruption Unit, the State House Investors Protectorate, Kano Edith Nakalema. With us, we have the Uganda Investment Authority Board members. We have the Chairman Board of the Chairman Board of Directors, that is PSFU, Mr. Amos Sinzei. We have the Chairman Board Uganda Manufacturers Association, Mr. Agas Sekalala. With us, Your Excellency, we have commissioners, directors, stakeholders, but above all, Your Excellency, we have investors. Let's give that a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And before you joined us, Your Excellency, we had a presentation on the access to affordable finance for investment, which included all the banks, and they told us what needs to be done and what the investment products are for investors there. In the same vein, we had a presentation on service level agreements. This is to do with the investor facilitation. The core was on tourism. And currently, Your Excellency, going on, we are having the Directorate of Citizenship and Immigration Control that has been led by Honorable Kahinda Otafide, the Minister of Internal Affairs, responding to a couple of questions that are coming from the investors. You're welcome, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Ambrose J. Marcelino Chamtetera, the Assistant Commissioner of Immigration Control. There was a, an issue, or rather a question, uh, regarding a delay in the issuance of work permits uh, to people who invest here and want to bring in workers of the skills that has been referred to as the rare skill. Your Excellency, as you are aware, upon your intervention, a special category of workers and investors uh, were granted an incentive to pay lower fees so that uh, we can have more of these people here to effect the know-how transfer. Your Excellency, I'm glad to report that most of these have been granted, but like there was a professor from Bustema University here, as he elaborated, there needed to be a discussion on the definition of the rare skill. This discussion went on with the stakeholders, notably the Minister of Labor, and I'm glad to report that we now have uh, a definition of what the rare skill is. Then there was the need to recalibrate our systems uh, to grant